and welcome back to Let's Play Darkest Hour. You may see something a little different on this side. Sidlek, Bratislava, and Silenia, or Silenia, something like that, is in my control, and last time you saw it was in Hungarian control. Well, I demanded the territory and the dish gave it to me. Don't ask me why, I have no clue why. I just tried it, and well, it worked. So, I'm not gonna bitch about that. For some reason, we have taken the entire... Uh, we have taken... It seems like everyone except the Netherlands have surrendered to us. Huh. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I have the claims. simply cannot demand a territory or annex them for some reason. Let's see. Uh, Netherlands. Oops. Where is their capital now? I heard there was some... I read about it and it was supposed to be some kind of event. It may come around to it. Either. Anyway, Belgium... France has fallen. We are regrouping to redeploy um, to the Eastern Front. Now, I'm also going to redeploy for the invasion of Norway. I'm going to prep that now. Uh, and I'm also going to deploy these groups here and get everything in order. So, this episode is going to be a bit of those try to get things working uh, episode. Try to get everything. Yeah, to be the way it's supposed to be. So first of all, I'm gonna rebase my. Oh, is that a beach? And it's a beach. In... No, it's not. I don't want my planes where there is a beach, since the allies can make landings there. That sucks. Dunkirk, of course, is beach. Where did I deploy you? Amsterdam. No, that has beach. Of course, I need airfields that is close enough to 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 Brussels. That will be fine. We base to Brussels. Okay. And my navy is indoors because they're under upgrades, like so much of the rest of my army and whatnot. Uh, let's see here. Can I can I try to be on a little lower supplies for a little while? It may work out. No guarantees, of course. Well there never is. I just uploaded the last part of the last video series. Um, it's November 9th, for those of you who wonder. For those of you who follow the LP. Uh, so, you know, time is still passing by, and I like to be a few videos ahead. Not just a few, I like to be a lot of videos ahead. Actually, I'd like to finish the entire LP before posting this, but uh, probably I'm going to get too impatient for that. Attila? I don't think that's gonna be necessary. And I should also start thinking about allying myself with Bulgaria. We are probably gonna be at war with Yugoslavia at one point. I seem to remember that. But that's a part of the World, world War II scenario. So, let's see. Get our planes in position. Gonna now be playing on fast since we're uh, not fighting at the moment. Of course, the British. There are a few beaches to choose between. I do want to invade the British Islands. Um, most of those beaches, however, face towards Norway, and of course, towards uh, the French coast. I do not want to make landing in landings in Dover. It's the shortest route. Yes. But it's also the most dangerous one, in my, from my point of view. It's it's extremely dangerous. Um, so, you know, that's something to keep in mind. Get there too. Actually, I can do this, can't I? Boom! Our army is out of the world, gone for the moment. This may be dangerous, however... 
I didn't just produce one, did I? Nope, I did not. Yeah, supplies already is an issue. That's usually due to the reinforcement, though. Bringing up to 45. You to 16.60. Oh yeah, and uh, I know I can automate this, but I like to do it myself. I like to keep the human aspect to the equation. Switzerland, nope. Yeah, Operation Weissen Rungbung thingy is the, oper is the invasion of Norway. I'll have to launch that at some point soon. It was in April in reality, and uh, I'm gonna need one of my air cores for that. Okay, let's see. Air superiority. I'm not gonna bother establishing air superior. Can I? Can I use air scramble? Sure. Uh, I'm not gonna bother establishing air superiority over England yet. It's too early. So I'm not gonna bother with that just yet. Uh, just so you know, I'm not gonna. So that means Denmark will also have to go, however. The bombers, I don't have a lot of bombers. Deploy them to Kiel, since that's where they're gonna be necessary that's where they're gonna be most useful. I will invade Norway and Denmark. And I'll also uh, prep for the invasion of Britain. I know, it's a lot of work before I can do that, but uh, it's well worth it. The second Ribbentrop Molotov Tree Three Treaty. After Germany entered uh, the Trade Pact with Japan and then later of a Trade Pact, Stalin in inviting Molotov to Berlin to negotiate the aim trade. Uh, Ah, not yet anyway. I need to secure myself much in better positions and so on and so forth. Ah, the Dutch surrenders. Perfect. Very good. Now, it's just to wait for the industry there to be rebuilt. When all of that industry is rebuilt, we're going to have a lot of the French industry. These sections, I don't think, hold... Oh, well, they hold a bit of industry, actually. Oh, well. There is a bit in these areas as well, though. Some of it has to be rebuilt, of course, due to the war, along with the infrastructure. But that will all happen in time. It's just a matter of being patient. Ah! I see our redeployment. What the heck? Well, why don't you find yourself on the... Uh... Just deploy you directly to the Yugoslavian border. In the meantime... I have a lot of work to do. Let's see. To invade Denmark. There, that's all I'm going to need. For the invasion of Norway, however, in the mountain division, I'll take both uh, these divisions with me. I don't think I'm going to need anything more than that. Now, it's also something about Bulgaria uh, allying with us. Let's see about that. How do we do that? 
Oh goodness. Then I order you redeployed. There. Also need someone on the beaches of Normandy. I am aware. This will all. This will be all for now. There you go, and the beaches. Can't cover them all, but uh, you can walk this. That's not that far. And done, Kirk. That's all. All right. Yeah. Well, for now, that will have to do. Excellent. Okay. That's fine. The Maginot Line isn't really that important anymore anyway, so what does it matter? Berlin is being bombed. I don't like that. That does not make me happy. This is the first Panzer Corps. How the heck did you get to Berlin? Hmm. Well, I definitely need a much larger air force. Well, you can uh, help down here. Do we have to invade Yugoslavia for this? Yes, we do. Now that explains something. Or should I just try to bring to alliance? That's a good question. Also need to force the Swiss into a trade agreement, it seems. Oh. Well, we'll see about that. Don't think it's really necessary. Our uh, <laughs> supreme Italian allies are doing well. <clears throat> I'm not. Yeah, well, let's just forget that. Australians? That's bold. You haven't taken a lot of losses, though. F it, the Frank through the channel to get to. Uh, To Berlin, no more. <laughs> Jumping all around the place. That's just because of the time compression. Ah, well, that's good. I may redeploy these divisions a little differently in time. RAF. Oh goodness, they did well. Oh well. Managed to get through though. There we go.
second Panzer Corps is now a proper Panzer Corps. Transport fleet needs more uh, transports. Goodness, look at all this. It's a mess. I don't know if I'll inevitably be thrown into a war with the uh, vehicle assembly line. Good. It seems like there's a lot of things here I have just not given enough about. That's not good. Ship assembly line isn't something I'm gonna hurriedly go to. Sturdy equipment, however, small arms assembly as soon as that is done. Sturdy equipment is good to have. Self-propelled artillery. Yes, self-propelled artillery. That's good. Okay. I can only move one of these groups at once up to Norway. We're also going to need aerial supremacy. Which is going to be the job or the, the duty of the first air corps. Ah! Well now that's better. Taking some losses. Nothing that our reinforcement seems to be able to have difficulties with. Turning that down a tad. Also turning down production a tad. No. Produce, 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 yes, 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 I know. Right now I want to upgrade a bit. Now, way too many obsolete divisions. I can't win a war with an army from the 1960s. Today, for instance. If, you know, I had an army from the 1960s today, I would never have been able to win a war anyway. Can't win a war with World War One equipment. Wolfpack. That's submarine technology. Advanced commerce defense. Naval attrition. Get to it. Ten. Okay, so I can bring over an entire... The 1941 Iraq coup d'etat, also known as the Rashid Ali Aigalaini coup for the Golden Square coup, was a military coup in Iraq on April 1st, 1941, that overthrew the regime of uh, Regent Abd al Ilah and installed Rashid Ali as a prime minister. It was led by foreign blah 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 blah. Hmm. Coup d'etat. Super. Well, then we have an ally down here. Not that it's going to matter. Wait, Iraq. Oh, it's here somewhere. Yeah. Ignorance is bliss. Got the money, so limited investment into research. Okay. Well, I think I would like to want, want, wait, wait for these upgrades to be done, but uh, upgrades uh, take such a amount of time because there's so much of it needed doing. Okay, you know what? To stop the bombings in this area for such long periods of time.
from the plains. Love it. Fighter Veteran Initiative. Recon Skirmisher. No one here can do particularly well at it. So then we go by skill. <laughs> There's a lot of reinforcement still to be done in this group. Get it done, please. Good. Well, I'm not going to be able to finish the carrier air groups. It's time to set out. Free France, new nation. Yes. Naval combat patrol, area only. This is just so that we can land. The landing Christian sign, it's going to bring us closest to Oslo and Badigan. So, those are two victory locations we need. Also, Trondheim and Narvik is important. So, let's get to it. I'm going to bring the group that is the, in the best shape at the moment. Vault. Hey. <sighs> right, time to put down our vault then. Get it done, will you? Show no mercy. Ah. I'm thinking about the poor sods over here. It's most likely gonna get bombed at one point or another. I'm gonna bring these some more firepower. Triperate Pact. Paris German hands and New World Order were emerging. The Triperate Pact divided the world into Germany, Italy, and Japanese spheres of influence. Nope, we need our allies, so sign a pact with both. Unfortunately, that's probably going to plunge me into war with a tiny nation called the United States. You know, the tiny little one in the Pacific, uh, on the other side of the world, the industrial juggernaut. Oh, for crying out loud. It's probably going to get me killed. One capital ship. Now that gets me curious. How the hell did you get the industry to build a capital ship? Just a minute. Well, it seems like it's time to eat. Oh yeah, it is. Yep. Well, that means this one will be a little short. The last thing I'm going to do before going to dinner is this. Norway, Denmark. Ain't that the biggest bullshit I've ever seen? Out of range, what the hell is that all about? Well, we have to figure that out next time on Let's Play Darkest Hour. So, see you all later.